The colonial past of Britain is obviously a well-documented fact, you know, along with other European nations like Spain, France and Portugal, it's part of our history, no question. Now, the issue of the Falkland Islands has been coming up recently, the issue of sovereignty of the islands. Christina Fernandez de Kirchner sent a letter to David Cameron saying that in 1833 Argentina was forcibly stripped of the Malvinas Islands, as the Argentines call them, in a blatant exercise of 19th century colonialism. She calls Britain the colonial power in the letter, and she also says, quote, The question of the Malvinas Islands is also a cause embraced by Latin America and by the vast majority of peoples and governments around the world that reject colonialism. Now, to be honest, I don't want to get into this whole Falklands dispute thing here. It's an ongoing dispute. People have their own opinions about what's going on. Claims are being made. Stuff in the newspapers. You know, like I said, I don't want to get into it. What I do want to point out is this. It's all very well and good that the current Argentine president wants to denounce colonialism. All well and good. But Christina Kirchner can't change history. I don't know how many people are familiar with the 19th century expansion of the United Provinces of the River Plate. Argentina was itself a successful colonising power in the 19th century. I wonder how many people have heard of the first conquest of the desert led by Juan Manuel de Rosas, a campaign led against indigenous people in the southern Pampas and northern Patagonia. Then another conquest of the desert in the 1870s and 1880s, directed for the main part by General Julio Argentino Roca. The result of this conquest was the Argentine annexation of Patagonia. Now, some argue that the campaign was a genocide by the Argentine regime of the day against the indigenous tribes. This is debatable. You have to go and do your own research. What isn't debatable is that Argentina, its European settlers, benefited greatly from the new conquered lands in the 20th century with Argentina becoming a big agricultural power, a genuinely wealthy nation, you know. It makes for some interesting reading, the early history of Argentina. The history of how the modern-day South American countries were formed is worth researching if you're willing to look into it and dedicate a bit of time. You might learn a thing or two. A surprising thing or two, as I did. Anyway, take it easy, folks.